Are you a literature lover? Are you tired of reading literature that does not resonate with our time? Do you have questions about literature? If so, welcome to the podcast My Two Cents Worth, the platform that discusses literature in relation to our times. I am uniquely Kenyan and relevantly African, hence my focus African literature. Following my interaction with some of you, in this video, I will be doing a recap on the series Tracing the Footsteps in African Literature. Please listen till the end. You will definitely have food for thought. Let us sell in. The series kicked off with the first footstep, the pre-colonial period. If I may ask, have you ever wondered how we Africans used to celebrate our own individuality, our own uniqueness before the coming of the Europeans? Indeed, we did celebrate in many diverse ways that I define them to be the beauty that describes Africa. Talk about our proverbs, the myths, the legends, the folklore, and many others. The key highlight of this footstep is simply the bath, which is the origin of African literature. Where this period in time, it was purely oral in nature. This was later followed by the coming of the Europeans to Africa, the colonial period. African literature quickly transversed into the written form, quite predominantly. One of the highlights of this period was the African writers calling out the undignified colonial experience. A perfect picture of inviting a guest to your own house then later, he entirely takes over the control of your house. What a dreadful experience. Then comes the third footstep, the post-colonial period. This period expounded on the aftermath and shades of colonialism. African literature, writers in this instance, were at war, fighting for the long-lost hope for its African nations. The period highlights the question of the colonial mindset. Oh my goodness, how I wish we will one day get over this ideology and not dwell on the mimics of our colonizers. The fourth footstep is the modern period. A period that gave rise to many drastic changes in all the facets of life, from industrialism to the realm of power structure due to the concept of logical thinking. However, the negative impact spoken candidly about by the African writers is that modernism destroyed the social ties that bound people together, especially in our traditional African societies. This led us to the last footstep, the postmodernism period. Some naysayers call it the age of empowerment in the aspects of digitalization and globalization. The period where nothing is certain. A remark that says, you go your way and they go my way for the right way it does not exist. This is indeed the period where African writers are and will still be at war with what really defines what is right and what is wrong as far as social values and social order are concerned. Definitely alongside this embellished concept of the reality of an individual. 
I hope I've been able to put all this entire series into perspective. Please revisit every single one of them to get references on the recommended African books to read for each period. That's all I have for you today. Can you subscribe and share this podcast with your family and friends? Thank you and see you next time.